useful mm -hmm. and believes in the very best. Yeah. Sometimes love can be exciting mm -hmm. and love can sometimes be sweet. Uh -huh. For love is always trusting and chooses never to envy. Sometimes love can be painful, yeah. then sometimes love like a song. But always love is forgiving and keeps no record of wrong. Yeah. Sometimes love can be gentle, <laughs> then sometimes it's just a word. But always love protects and hopes, and love is always preserved. Love is never self-seeking, and is never anger or rude. Love can never fail us, for God love is faithful and true. Come on and give God some praise for love. Tell your neighbor, 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 neighbor. Love, love is all I can give to you. <laughs> Say it one more time. Love to you. The fruit of the Spirit is love. Galatians 5 and 22. In the King James, love is referred to charity. 1 Corinthians 13. Let's turn there. I'm going to be reading in the New International Version. 1 Corinthians, the 13th chapter. Starting at the first verse. If I speak in the tongues of men or of angels, but do not have love, I am only a resounding gong or a clanking cymbal. If I have the gift of prophecy and cannot fathom all mysteries and all knowledge, if I have faith that can move mountains, but do not have love, I am nothing. If I give all I possess to the poor and give over my body to hardship that I may boast, but do not have love, I gain nothing. Love is patient. Love is kind. It does not envy. It does not boast. It is not proud. It does not dishonor others. It is not self-seeking. It is not easily angered. It keeps no record of wrong. Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. Love never fails. Say love never fails. But where there are prophecies, they will cease. Where there are tongues, they will be still. Where there is knowledge, it will pass away. But we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when completeness comes, what is in part disappears. When I was a child, I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put away the ways of childhood behind me. For now we see only reflection as in a mirror. Then we put, we shall see, put the ways of childhood behind me. Then we shall see face to face. Now I know in part, and I shall know fully, even as I am fully known. And these three remain faith, hope, and love. But the greatest of these is love. Say the greatest of these is love. The greatest of these is love. Hallelujah. Give God some praise. The things that love is not. Love isn't envious. Love isn't proud. Love isn't boastful. Love isn't rude. Love isn't selfish. Love isn't short tempered. Love isn't evil. Love is not accepted of sin. But the things that love is, love is patient, love is kind, rejoices in truth, bears up all problems, protects, believes, trusts, hopes, understands the faults of others, yeah. never fail, perseveres. The Bible says that we have to have the Holy Spirit. Say, I have to have the Holy Spirit. I have to have the Holy Spirit. It says, and hope make it not a shame because the love of God is shed abroad in our hearts. By the Holy Ghost, which is given unto you. Say, love is all I can give to you. Love is all I can give to you. Romans 15 and 30. Now I beseech you, brother, for the Lord Jesus Christ's sake, and for the love of the Spirit, that we strive together with me in prayers to God for me. He commands us to love one another. Yeah. He commands us to love. To just yeah. keep sticking. He commands us to love one another. Yeah. And he commands us to love one another. Yeah. Luke 10, 30 and 37 is the story of the Good Samaritan. And you can read that at your leisure. But it talks about how the Good Samaritan was the one that came by and he showed love. Yeah. The priest and the Levite, 
They just walked on by. And while I was reading that scripture, I, I just wanted God to speak to me about that. And he said on verse 33, But a certain Samaritan, as he journeyed, came where he was. And when he saw him, he had compassion on him. And went to him, and bowed up his wounds, yeah. poured in oil and wine, and set him on his own beast, yeah. and brought him to an inn, and took care of him. Uh -huh. And on the morrow when he departed, he took out two pence, and gave them to the host, and said unto them, Take care of him, and whatsoever thou spendest more, when I come again, I will repay thee. Which now of these thinkest thou was neighbor unto him that fell among the seas? And we know it was the Good Samaritan. So let's just thank God for the Good Samaritan. Amen. Did you pass your neighbor by? That's just a, a thought-provoking question. When your neighbor was in need, when, did you fail to give somebody food that was hungry? Did you fail to, to speak to the elderly woman who needed a, a ride to the bus station? Did you fail to give a helping hand? Did you fail to give a mother who needed some bread? Did you, did you fail to do that? Did you pass your neighbor by? God is saying, don't pass your neighbor by. Amen. Don't pass your neighbor. We have to love one another. Yes. That's how the Spirit comes through us. We are partakers of the Spirit of God. We are the Spirit. God dwells in us. He said He'll put the Spirit in us. Yes. And we have to love. We have to have the Holy Spirit yes. in order to love. Did you pass your neighbor by? Love lifted me. Yes. When nothing else could help love. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. Love lifted me. Yes. Yes. John 4, 1 John 4. 7 through 11 talks about loving one another. You can read that at your own time. But the only debt you owe is love. Say, I owe you love. I owe you love. Just love on your neighbor. We might as well love our neighbor since we sit in the beside them. I owe you love. Hallelujah. We owe each other love. Romans 13, 8. Owe no man anything but to love one another. For he that loveth another has fulfilled the law. John 13, 34 through 7. A new commandment I give unto you that you love one another. Another, as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Yeah. But this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, yeah. if you love one another. First yeah. yeah. John four nineteen, we love him because he first, first love loves us. Yeah. I got one last task for you to say to your neighbor. Say, I pray for you. I you. you pray for me. Pray for I love you. I, love I need you to survive. I, you. I, won't you I won't harm you with words from my mouth. I 